What's good with y'all? We got 4411, the second variation, custom tactics. Let's get to it. Defensive style, you can play balanced. The whiff, you can play anywhere from 50 to 60. I think 50 is a good start for you. The depth, you can play, you know, anywhere from 65 and up. Now, as far as the whiff goes, you know, again, if you're trying to make your, you know, formation more narrow, then you could move it up to 45. But yeah, I think anywhere from 50 to 55 is pretty good for this type of formation. You feel me? 60 is the cover for, you know, formations like 352. The depth, you know, if you're trying to be more defensive and you don't got, you know, overpowered players, 55 is good. But if you got, you know, the meta right now, if you got Van Dyke, players like that, increase it up to 60 and up. Trust me. Build up play balance chance creation you can go with possession if that's your play style if you know how to hold the ball then just go with possession and then you know it'll suit your style but if that doesn't work for you you can try balance or direct passing the whiff you can match it with that defensive styles with or you can increase it to you know gain more possession so that's on you you feel me now players in the box you know Anywhere from four to like eight is good. You feel me? So yeah, try, I think six is good. Yeah, try six or eight. Corners and free kicks, one and one. All right, so let's get to these instructions. Your striker, you can just leave them, you know, completely on balance or you could play, get them behind, you feel me? Now, you know, you could try these other variations out if you have, like, crafty players. Like, with Milan, I know he could dribble and pass and do everything, so I'm going to put false nine. You know, if you got a taller player, put target man. Now, you know, your, your center forward, you could put stay forward and then, you know, stay on the edge of the box with crosses. Your right mid, you could put cut inside and get him behind. You feel me? Same rules apply for that other one. So cut inside, get it behind. You know, if that doesn't work, you could just put both of them on balance. Now, you know, your left CDM or the center mid, you put cover center and then leave the rest on balance because, you know, you want him to join in on that tech. The other one that's more defensive or just has better defending stats, you could stay back on attacking, cover center. Yeah, so try that. Now, you know, you can also put, you know, aggressive interceptions if your player has, you know, a higher level of stamina, you feel me? But if he doesn't, don't do that. Trust me. If you're a fullback, you can put balance and then overlap. Or, you know, join the attack if you're trying to be more, you know, offensive oriented. If you're in like a situation where you're trying to close the game out, then obviously put stay back while attacking. But I think, you know, balance is good for this formation. Now, you know, the other one, you can put overlap and balance. You know, your keeper, you can put, you know, come for cross the sweeper keeper. If that doesn't work, put put them on balance. But yeah, it's the 4 4 1 1, the second variation. So your CDMs are kind of more deeper. Um, you know, you still got that center forward. That's going to be the key to this formation. What you're trying to do is just, you know, pivot around the opponent's defense with that center forward. Try to get the center forward for at least four-star weak foot. I think that's, like, the best weak foot for this formation. Five-star is the best, obviously, but, you know, if he can't, four-star. So you can pass and shoot with both feet, you know. You know, like I said, with the left and right mids, they're already on getting behind, so they'll already be making that run. So once you receive that ball with your center forward, you got your left and right mid making a run and your striker making a run. You know, you don't always have to pass the ball there. You know, that's going to just create more space for you. So once they make that run, you know, the opponent's, you know, fullbacks or center backs are going to track those players and then that's going to open up space for you. You feel me? Once you draw that center back or fullback in, that's when you know you can pass to those players. Or, you know, if they make a pretty good run, go ahead and pass it to them and then, you know, carry the attack on from that. Your fullbacks will also be joining in on the attack. So, yeah, try out these tactics, you know. 
if certain parts of it doesn't suit your style, adjust it a little bit and then, you know, try it again. Just keep adjusting it to it fits your place now. But yeah, I got other custom tactics on my channel. Subscribe and check me out. I'm Kat.